Hello everyone, this is my weekly Linux news, 11th March 2018. DXVK, which stands for DirectX to Vulkan for Wine, is making great progress. DXVK is a new project that provides a layer for Wine to convert DirectX calls on the fly to Vulkan. This allows much greater performance than the traditional layer in Wine, which renders DirectX using OpenGL, since Vulkan is a new generation of low-level APIs for 3D rendering using hardware optimizations which are not available through OpenGL. The article from Wireling's team I am showing you focuses on a benchmark of Witcher 3, using the latest version of the XVK for Wine, and links to a video where the author runs the game on an NVIDIA GTX 1060 at 720p resolution and almost max settings, getting between 30 to 50 frames per second. However, the video was captured using OBS, so the actual performance should be higher. According to some users online, the average without recording was around 60 frames per second. Once this project matures enough to be included in Wine by default, it could be a game-changer, allowing DirectX games to run at almost native speeds on Linux. Up next, Debian 9.4 released. The Debian project is pleased to announce the fourth update of its stable distribution, Debian 9, codenamed Stretch. This point release mainly adds corrections for security issues along with a few adjustments for serious problems. Security advisories have already been published separately and are referenced where available. Well, these point releases are important mostly to users installing Debian from scratch through install media that is soon going to be upgraded as well. Everyone else already using Debian 9 stable should simply keep their machines updated using the package manager. That being said, there have been some important bug fixes. And crucially, some security updates. Of which DSA4120 is the most important one since it includes fixes for Spectra and Meltdown. Moving on to the next one, Qt Browser 1.2.0 released. For those who don't yet know this amazing piece of software, Qt Browser is a keyboard-driven browser with a Vim-like, minimalistic interface, inspired by software like Vimperator. If you don't like using the mouse, this is perfect for you. Qt Browser is written in Python and uses PyQt to work across multiple platforms like Linux, Windows and Mac OS. Version 1.2 brings a lot of changes and new features, of which the most important ones are Initial implementation of per domain settings. Column set and column config cycle now have a dash u or dash dash pattern argument taking an URL match pattern for supported settings. This is quite useful, because now if you'd like to set something just for a specific domain instead of globally, you can use these arguments. There's also new cute web engine features, like for instance carrot or visual mode, and also a couple of new special pages, Qt bindings and Qt tabs. And finally some new settings, like for instance status bar dot widgets to configure which widgets should be shown in which order in the status bar. And to wrap it up, systemd 238 released. There's a raft of changes and new features. If you'd like to watch it in more detail, please follow the links I provide in the description. 
Thank you for watching. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, please click the subscribe button below. As always, use Linux long and prosper.